Okay, working on a GE washer. This is a GE Hydrowave. And unfortunately, I'm redoing this job from a previous tub seal repair. And and it's because I used this from a Tex Indian head gasket shellac compound. <laughs> so I saw another uh, YouTube video of a appliance repairman recommend using this stuff to, to kind of glue in the tub seal because they tend to pop out. Um, when you're replacing them because it seems like over when these things these tubs get old they kind of warp and they don't hold as tight to the tub seal they're they're just dry pressed in but if you're replacing it you need to glue it in and this lasted a while it was uh spitting out brown specks like that and i figured oh it's the grease that i put in the the center of the tub seal to kind of to keep it greased to you know because the shaft goes in between and i thought that was like kind of overheating up and melting and getting hot and turning brown because this was never wet it was always dry and it was kind of greasy so i figured it's the grease coming out uh, it turns out it's this stuff this stuff was uh melting and turning into mush It eventually failed and the tub seal popped up uh, enough to cause a leak and cause some problems. So um, I'm going to use, I'm using this stuff, this E6000. And as you see here, it's permanent bond, non-flammable, waterproof, paintable, flexible. So this seems to be the best stuff I tried. It uh, sticks the best to plastic and it's flexible once, you know, you give it time to cure minimum 24 hours and they said up to 72 72 hours for the full uh, strength but uh, this stuff seems to be the best and it's pretty cheap at Walmart too so I was doing a lot of testing with glues to find out which one's the, the best and which sticks to rubber and plastic the best and uh, this stuff seems to be the best from what I found so just a little tip and you can see I glued it in I put some on the sides and kind of moved it, twist it a little bit to uh, to lock it in and I added some extra glue up, up top. So just kind of let it dry for at least a day before uh, do anything else here.